We're back down. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> hey, we don't want this. Ah. One thing that's kind of frustrating, I know for me as a beginner, is that E does everything. Opens the doors, mounts you up onto your dinosaur or your animal, uh, opens up cabinets. Uh, I mean, pretty soon you're clicking E for everything and you're just kind of, you're like, oh gee, E. And then of course you'll be flying along on the first time you're on a mount, in the air and you click E because you're used to that's what it's for and um, you fall off your mount because it dismounts you you fall into the desert to the ocean wherever whichever arc you're playing okay here we are just bombing along here okay the only reason that we need screenshot over here is because she's got all of our stuff let me make sure she's got all of our stuff. Yeah, she's got most of our stuff. Okay. And then we'll make sure that... Um, let's just walk over here to get our vulture put down. Because we don't want him just right in the middle of... Stealing the show. Okay. Okay, first things first. You have a cage. Let's put him in our hot bar real quick. We'll put the big one in zero. We'll put the huge two in nine. And we'll put number eight here. Okay. So you have a huge cage. Okay. You've caught your beast. Huge cage. Mm -hmm. All right. You come over here to the dino that is carrying your things. And because there's probably a lot of things that are going on that are horrible right where you are, you want to bring it over close to the cage. You don't want it way far away like you're in the yard here. The reason being is because, you know, something's going to come up behind you and just smash it to smithereens. Okay, so we don't have everything we need, but we can get the foundations down. Um, I'll show you with two, and then uh, the reason that I usually only use two is because nothing can really get in and hurt me in, with two, but um, I've been thinking that maybe a, uh, a scorpion, I don't know their uh, hit range. I know that the first time I got uh, tried to tame a Bronto, I got killed because I didn't know its hit range was so massive. I mean, he swung that tail and it wasn't anywhere near me and I died. Okay, so here we are. We need the door frames and we're going to need, uh, we already have the foundations. And uh, are the doors out there already? Let's just make sure they are before we take off. Oh, no, nope, they're right here. Okay, so that's all we need. Let's go do it. Okay, this is my own. Um, well, you know, okay, I uh, feel so tiny next to this cage. Gee, many. Okay, well, we'll have to do it this way. All right, ready again? Seven. All right. There we go. Okay. Yeah. When I was on uh, ARC and just starting, I just had a hard time being afraid of capturing, taming, everything, everythinging. And um, so you want to put door frames all the way around to protect you and use for foundations if you're going to do um, scorpions until we find out if we're going to be uh, paralyzed or not because it's a little bit uh, there they are okay so here we are 
It's a little bit of an unknown for me. Okay, so if you want, you can put um, walls right here. I've noticed that nothing really jumps up. It's, uh, you know, if you feel better about it, you can put walls there. Um, while you're taming, here's some walls. I'll put them up anyway. While you're taming, you can, um, because you're gonna put your animal on passive, you can get your other huge cage out. Right here, huge wooden cage. And you can put it on your own animal. And it doesn't have to include the entire animal. It has to include, um, like right there. It has to include their main body. It's called a hit box. So he's not gonna be able to get out of there even if I don't put him on passive. And he's gonna be just fine. Okay, so here we are. We come in here, we we'll close the door. We're pretty much protected from uh, even mantises. They uh, have come and tried to get in before. Uh, the door, there's the, the E thing again. It wouldn't matter. But see how uh, it closes and opens through the wall, which is just really nice. And then you open this one, you open this one, you get out your trank gun, and you can follow the animal around. And they usually aggro on you and come over here until you've uh, gotten them quite a few times. I was using uh, arrows uh, and I was killing things because they're just too fragile. When it's all done, you can put away your trank gun. You can come over and you can do like normal. You know, press F, see the inventory, uh, put your narco in it, narco berries or your uh, narcotics that you've made, uh, prime or plain meat, whatever you have. And uh, if it's a uh, herbivore, you can put in um, your, uh, they like ama berries and medjo berries, but medjo berries first. I usually bring only medjo berries because I get, I get overweight easy bringing too many things. Okay, um, so you're out and you're doing your thing. And um, all of a sudden a storm comes or you have a tame already that you just tamed and you want to tame another, you can open this up and you can have your animal that you just tamed follow you in. Or you can pick up the whole entire thing and put it down someplace else. Which one? Let's keep the huge, I'm so used to the huge cage being in zero. It'll just be easier for me. There you go. And um, I locked myself in here. What I wanted to show you was, um, I think it's on screenshot. Oh, thank you, dear. Let's see here. Yeah the tent. Okay. Keep her close. You don't want anything happening to him. All right. Offload all this stuff back on. So you always have it. And get your tent. And yesterday, I actually got it to place inside of one of these. Actually, I think I did it the other way around. I think I placed the tent first, and then I placed this over it. Of course, it's gonna take a lot of wiggling around now that I'm trying to show you. It should have just there. 
see that? The only thing is, is that E doesn't like to open up the door all the time. So just get the E wheel and then just say open and close if it's if you're having problems with it. And you can bring a tame in here. Um, I always have a lot of cages. If you watch me a lot, you'll see that I'm a cage person when it comes to taming and everything. You know, be careful with my animals because a lot of times you have animals and they're they're just tamed, they're not protected, or you are taming and you're not protected, or a storm comes. So that was one of them. Another one was if you get inside of here and you open the doors and you aggro something to come, you can run it right up to you. That's how I got my wolf. Uh, it came right up here. I got the cage out and I, I just captured it. Now you have to back up and make sure that you get on the other side of the door. I mean, he can't get in because he'll be in over here. And the other thing is, is if you need to, now let's just move her over here if you can. Yeah, that works out well for me. Okay. All right. If you need to uh, have your tent or just have another cage out, let's get the tent up. Because a lot of times, you know, when you're new and you're really uh, nervous and you're undone, you don't have um, the, the response time. And I don't have that kind of response time. I really don't. Okay, so here's another cage. Uh, the opening will be towards you. And you can open up this one also. See, it opened up for us. So you can have it like this. You can open up this one. And then you can come over here and you can, um, you can tame whatever animal is in here and you are protected on all the sides. And I don't know if uh, in this close of a quarters, if you can still put your tent. The tent thing is uh, always iffy. You no, know, you'd have to put your tent down first. But anyway, it makes you feel secure and you can figure it out as you go along. It's really nice. Okay. Then you just, it's, it takes a little bit more effort to take this and take it up and down, but it certainly is worth it in time and uh, peace of mind. And when you're new, it's wonderful. Um, if you're on a, uh, See Daisy, I didn't mean to do that. See the E thing? Isn't that great? Okay. We'll just use Terry here to show you. When you get something that uh, is head is outside of the cage, I'm accidentally locking myself in because usually you have a lot of room and we don't have a lot of room here. Um, see, even if I called her right now, she wouldn't be able to come because most of her is in there. You'd, if you have an animal like this, you can take and you can tranquilize them here, anywhere that is outside of the cage. They can jump up. They can be in your face. They can look like they're going to kill you. But as long as something is sticking out and they usually aggro and put their faces through these bars, you can shoot them. Anything that comes outside the bar and you're protected. I mean, you can be right here. 
and it can, you know, if you have a raptor in there and it can try to hit you, it can't. Of course, if you're inside and you try to shoot out, you can't do that either. So like if you've got yourself protected inside of the cages, it's just not gonna work if you're standing in there and you're trying to shoot out, unless you open up the door, of course, then it works. Okay, so anything outside the cage, heads, sometimes you have to walk around and follow them around. And um, let's see here, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so that was uh, two of them. She's gonna wanna follow me, so I'm just gonna have to make sure she's off of follow. There you go. The third one, and final way, I don't have this stuff with me. I was organizing everything this morning. In fact, I even went and made uh, the Carno saddles. And like I said, and I named my uh, Ankylosaurus. Let's see here. What the heck's going in here with this? All we want is we want a crossbow. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these on screenshot right now. Okay, so you've got um, an Ankylosaurus or a little dodic or something that um, you were able just to walk up and put the cage on. Most um, things that don't aggro easy, you can usually sneak up on them. And uh, my train of thought here. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. So let's say when I got my Ankylosaurus and when I got my um, Lamantria, I did it like this and I waited until the animal was way down at the other end. You walk in and you do E, you get eight. And you whirl yourself up. You take and you press Q and it puts that away. So that you don't touch it again. Then you take out your trank dart and you shoot. And I'll show you, you cannot shoot out. See, look at the trank dart sticking right there in the air. See it mostly up and down. So you can't uh, shoot out, but you just trank them until they're down. You uh, press C to let it go. Yeah. And um, put your little trank gun away and you're uh, safe while you go over and you give it the narcotics and the meat or the medjo berries that it needs. And those are the three ways. And um, two of them, the uh, grappling hook idea and the cage, my grandson showed me the uh, little building, that's my idea. I, <laughs> I stayed up all one night practically just trying to think of how I was gonna go and tame things like everybody else when I only had like a month of gaming under my belt. And, um, and I uh, have a crafting table so that I can have a crafted, the CS means crafted. These are crafted and you can pick them up. You don't have to demolish them. Uh, it's really nice if you're moving around the desert. Oh, excuse me, my kitty cat just clawed my, my leg letting me know that she wants to say hi. So anyway, that is my way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here right now because um, I just wanted to do the tutorial quickly and then we can get back to other stuff. But it's the three ways that grandma tames and uh, it's pretty unique. This little building, I love it. Uh, in fact, I really love it. There was a mantis the other day, just hanging out, trying to get through the door, and I was just able to continue and tame 
and finally I was able to uh, whistle to screenshot. I know, I see you. Sorry about you this, you guys. I'll get off and give her some attention and I'll be right back, okay? So uh, I just want to get this uploaded uh, onto YouTube and uh, thanks for watching. And um, you just uh, have the great rest of your evening or the great rest of your morning. And remember, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Bye-bye.